Hi, I'm Greg Aronowitz from Barnyard FX, and this is What's in My Barn. So it seems like everybody loves Batman, and because 2014 is the 75th anniversary of the Cape Crusader, I decided to dig even further into the barn and pull out some more bat props. To make it a little different, today we're going to talk about villains. Batman has always had the coolest villains, and I got to make props for them for both Batman Forever and Batman and Robin. Jim Carrey played the Riddler in Batman Forever, and it kind of went into his origin, and we discovered that the inspiration for the Riddler costume came from a character called the Guesser. And I got to create all of the Guesser props, and you see these when he's working at Wayne Enterprise, and in his little uh, hovel, he has just toys everywhere. This was a like television personality that he was obsessed with, and the idea of the green suit and the question mark is what inspired him to create the Riddler costume. This version of the Guesser is actually a bank, and it's styled after a 1950s version of a rotocast uh, Colonel Sanders from Kentucky Fried Chicken. That's what the production designer gave me to kind of work off of. And I sculpted this in Sculpey, and then made a mold, and this is a, a casting. It's actually pretty heavy, and it's not hollow, but we never put any money in it, so I just had to give the appearance of an old vintage toy. This poor guy has seen better days. This is a snow globe of the Guesser, and he is holding the magic question ball. And I sculpted this and made an original base and used an existing snow globe dome, but apparently I did not use distilled water, so there's some weird, <laughs> weird growth in there, which is kind of gross, but um, the thing was pretty detailed in its heyday, and uh, there were actually laser cut transparent question marks that when he shakes it, they swirl all around. So it was a pretty involved piece for something that would just sit in the background on his desk. I've actually made a lot of snow globes as props over the years, and particularly uh, I made one for each bat film that I worked on, but nothing ever as complicated as this. This is probably one of the hardest things I've ever made in my entire career. And it is Gotham City in a snow globe being held up by Atlas and uh, it lit up and it, this basically represented Gotham in the movie as each villain was trying to take it over. If you remember at one point Poison Ivy had it and then uh, Arnold got it as Mr. Freeze and he was like chill out Gotham and then he like freezes it and breaks it. Um, so it's kind of cool that at one point every actor in the movie, every major hero or villain held this prop. So the water leaked out over time, um, but this also lit up every building and it's made out of a, a bronze, like faux bronze and has lead shot in it to like make it all heavy so it wouldn't fall over. And one of the hardest things about building it is that they really wanted to see the full sphere of the globe. So as you can see from the back, like there is no open bottom like a snow globe normally has. There's just a tiny hole. So I had to build it like a ship in the bottle. Each building was made individually and then stuck inside. And then I had to create a disc for the base that went in and the pull each building into it and then put all the lights in there. Very crazy. The very first one that was made, it due on set within hours, and there was a little air bubble at the top, and it kind of really bugged me. So we tried to inject a uh, syringe and pull the air out, and as we were doing it, you just hear like, kink, and it cracked like that. And uh, yeah, I thought I was gonna die and never work in Hollywood again, but. This is one of the last surviving ones. I think there's one other one in the Warner Brother Museum. Um, yeah, it's one of my favorite things. Oops. This is a casting of one of the buildings inside the Gotham snow globe. I made the original out of styrene and just layered up all the little details and then took a mold with a platinum silicone and then cast it in clear resin. I had to make a dozen unique buildings to go inside each snow globe, and ultimately I think I made a dozen snow globes. It was a lot of little buildings. We would drill up inside it to put the uh, LEDs that lit it up, and then um, fill the hole with clear silicone so that water couldn't get in there and burn out the mold. 
For Batman and Robin, I made a lot of the clear Mr. Freeze ice props. And one of my favorites is this sculpture of his wife. When he's put into Arkham, he makes this sculpture of his wife suspended in the cryo chamber from his lab. I actually sculpted the figure completely naked and cast it in a slightly blue tinted uh, clear material. And then I did a sculpture of the dress and when I cast the dress, I put the casting of the figure into the mold. So if you look really close in different light, you can actually see her legs inside of the dress. There are a ton more Batman villain props where that came from. So if you enjoyed watching this, like it below, leave in the comments anything you might want to see from the Bat films or any other movie. I'm sure I have it in my barn.